Hello guys, today we're going to be working with this uh, Melocactus matanzanus. As you can see, uh, it is quite heavily infested by, I'm pretty sure these are mealybugs. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and first of all, whenever you have a plant that is heavily infested or even mildly infested by any sort of pests, uh, the first thing you want to do is take it away from your other plants. You don't want uh, one infested plant to transfer its pests. You know, bugs do move around and they do want to get on all your plants so the first thing you want to do is quarantine that plant uh, take it out of the grow area and then we're gonna uh, remove it from the pot it is very important that you remove any infested plant from the pot you want to be able to inspect the roots and you want to be able to wash the whole plant thoroughly and if you do have any sort of insecticide you might want to prepare a solution and maybe dunk the plant in there for like 15 to 20 minutes um, just so that that solution and that insecticide has a chance to soak through and get all of those uh, tiny little insects that are in the whole surface area of the plant you know they like to get in between the nooks and crannies like in the roots so the, your best bet is to just uh, unpot the plant and we're gonna get into what you should do so the first thing you want to do is uh, go ahead and remove that plant from the pot i'm not going to be reusing any of this uh, growing medium because obviously it is infested by a pest uh, and as you can see this uh, mellow cactus was planted in some fairly good medium so it's not a, an issue of the substrate sometimes you do have too much organic it organic content in the mixture and that can lead to pests in this case uh, that is not the issue as you can see this plant has a very healthy root, um, sorry root system uh, and the issue seems to just be you know a pest regular pest infestation so and this is why you want to remove it from the pot guys see all of these insects are like way below below the soil line so if you don't remove it from the from the pot it's it's very hard that you're gonna find these guys and be able to treat them properly but as you can see it is very very heavily infested and now that you have your plant out of your pot we're gonna go ahead and grab uh, the hose and this is gonna just basically require a little bit of water pressure and you're just gonna hose off the pest as much as you can So you can see you're able to uh, just spray away most of these guys and you do leave, they leave, do leave some corking behind and some discoloration. Uh, that's probably not going to heal but the plant will become you know larger and it will grow out of these scars. You won't even be able to see them. But you want to make sure you get every single one of those little white spots off and you clean off all the old soil because there might be eggs and uh, smaller larvae hidden in there. That's starting to look pretty good. So I'd say that's about done. So after you thoroughly washed your plant and you're sure that you don't see any remains of uh, the infestation, I do like to use this uh, Bio Advanced Tree and Shrub Protectant Feed. And what we're gonna do is basically prepare a solution that we're gonna dunk the plant in. And I'm using a slightly stronger dilution ratio than this uh, suggests. I'm supposed to use one teaspoon per five gallons of water, but I'm going to use one teaspoon uh, just for this tiny water container. And it's because I'm not going to be feeding the plant with it. I'm just going to dunk it in there. Uh, so I do need the solution to be slightly stronger than it's suggested. Now that you have your plant clean and you have your solution ready to go, you can just dunk the plant right in there. And I do want to mention that you don't want to leave this plant in direct sunlight while it's soaking in its solution or after you remove it or for a couple of days until it's completely dry. You don't want this plant to receive any sort of sunlight while it's uh, covered in chemicals. And I also do want to add that I did put some Windex in there just because I want this solution to be basically nuclear and destroy anything that is on this plant. So yeah, guys, that's about it. Uh, now we're gonna give it about 15 to 20 minutes let it soak in there and then it'll be ready to dry and repot and before getting into some results i did want to talk to you about the different kinds of insecticides so that hopefully uh, you will store both at home and you will know which one to use and when uh, there are systemic insecticides like the one used on the left and there are contact insecticides like the two on the right that you see here 
And the difference is contact insecticides, you just need to spray on the plant to kill anything that they come into contact with. While systemic insecticides must be absorbed by the roots of the plant and then stored inside of the plant to deter any future insects from biting into it. So what you wanna do is use a contact insecticide first for your first round of treatment. When you pull the plant out of the soil, you wanna spray it and dunk it into a solution like the one you saw earlier that contains a contact insecticide so that it get rid gets rid of everything on the surface of the plant. And then once you pot it up, you wait for it to, you wait for the roots to dry and then you pot it up. And after you wait maybe a couple of weeks, you can do your second treatment with a systemic insecticide so that once the plant's roots are active, they can suck that, um, that you know that insecticide up and store it inside of the branch of the plant so that it deters future generations of bugs or any any eggs that may hatch after your first treatment and it will just finish off whatever remains of the pest after that first round of treatment all right guys now it's been a year since we first treated this plant and as you can see there are only some small signs of the pest infestation but the plant is completely healthy now and thriving under direct sunlight. It's been slowly acclimated to its new position, but as you can see, it's doing great. Uh, it has put on uh, some fresh growth. You see the, the new spines up there up top and brown. And uh, just the, the trick to this, guys, is you have to repeat the treatment at least twice to be able to get all the eggs and all the, um, all the mealybugs that come after the first wave that you kill when you're first treated. Um, it's recommended you do a second treatment a week up to 10 days after the first one and Another trick is that you have to or it's way better if you're able to pull the plant from its soil So that you can get the roots and all the, the little nooks and crannies. That's where the mealybugs like to hide and like to leave their eggs um, So if you have any extra tips for anybody dealing with mealybugs They are pain in the ass when it comes to you know cultivating cacti and succulents because once they get a hold of a plant it's very hard to get rid of them completely but as you can see this treatment did seem to work out pretty well uh, like I said it's been a year since we treated this Melocactus matensanus and it is doing great uh, so if you have any extra tips for us guys please comment down below and if you'd like to see any other videos on any specific topics please let me know in the comment section and I'll make sure to come up with some new videos that you'll find interesting see you on the next one